Uh, we are all on this journey together, this amazing journey called life. And damn it, we want to look good while we doing it. Yeah. Hello, 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 and welcome to the reintroduction of you. Whether it's your first time or you're returning, I just thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. I wanted to come to you guys today and really just talk about lessons that I've learned as I've been filming. The first thing that I wanna mention before anything is that there's a whole conversation around wearing things versus styling things. And I was listening to a TikToker and that TikToker is like a, a major stylist for celebrities and, you know, lots of big names. And what she said is that it is okay to just wear your clothes. <laughs> like it's okay to wear them. There's nothing wrong with wearing your clothes. And that sometimes people say that styling is really just accessorizing. And to some degree, styling is accessorizing. But on top of that, styling clothes is really about your personality coming through so if your personality is very mellow you're not you don't need a big chunky purse and a big chunky necklace that's not your personality where other people's personalities is big bright colors and big accessories and mixing and matching prints and playing with patterns that becomes styling for them but what she said more than anything is that styling isn't just throwing a bunch of accessories on. Styling is whatever it takes for, to make your personality come through. Don't have to throw a whole bunch of accessories on just because Beyonce's internet says that you need to style it versus wear it. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. Now I actually follow a lot of YouTubers. We're talking about YouTubers from just a few thousand followers up to honestly hundreds of thousands of followers and varying sets of information about different things related to style and none of them need me to to mention them uh but they're people that i consume so i want to share the information with you and i have my notes here so that i don't miss anything so the first person i want to talk about is jernica mycia jernica mycia will shop at zara target and she will shop at bergdorf she does not discriminate in terms of like price point or anything like that but one thing that she talks about is having a probation rack and i thought that was kind of a funny term at first but after she explained it, it makes total sense sometimes we fall in love with um the the price and not the piece like a four dollar shirt and you're like oh my god it's four dollars yeah but are you going to use it? Are you really going to put it to use? So everything that she buys, she does not pop the tags off of it. She immediately puts it on what's called a, prob a probation rack, which is just a closed rack in her room. Whatever the return period is for that item, she leaves it on that rack for that return period. So that way she can try to style it with other pieces in her closet, or she can really see if she likes the fit or the feel or that item itself, because so often we'll get something and we're feeling good at the time and we have lots of grand ideas for it. And then later on, we realize, I. I didn't really need this. I don't really want this. And, but sometimes we forget about it because it's already stowed away in our closet. And then next thing you know, six months later, you're like, yeah, I didn't even wear that. So she has what's called a pro probation rack. And I just thought that was a really good idea. Um, the next person that I want to talk about is Udi on the glow. Udi has really, um, given lots of really good information about matching colors and color theory and things like that so really the more practical edu educational part of fashion but i just really thought she gave some super information very informative and she has great style the next person that i want to talk about is uh simply cora simply cora right now i think she might have about nine to ten thousand followers but what i can tell you is i can speak into existence that she is going to have a hundred thousand followers in the next like two years because she's amazing from her editing to her information to her personality she's just an amazing person and she talks about something called debt and we're not talking about i owe a bunch of money debt d-e-b-t but an acronym d-e-t and it really is about taking pieces of any look that you like and then pulling out certain details that you can recreate that look to make an outfit your own once it's recreated. 
The next person I want to talk about is Style Insider. She is in Australia, I believe, but I just I just love listening to her. But she does talk a lot about uh, trends and cycles. And then the last people that I mention or want to mention are people who actually do OOTDs, and that is Living Fearless and Tasha Styles. They are styling up pieces as they're on their way out the door to run errands, go to work. So it isn't just like, oh, you could put this with this, kind of this. And if you think about that, do that. This is literally, this is what I'm wearing today to go to the farmer's market. This is what I'm wearing today to go run errands. This is what I'm wearing to go into the office. So it isn't just concepts and maybe you could do this this is about what they actually do and wear out in their everyday lives and again i just really enjoy their channel anyway if you have any comments suggestions or you just want to say hello you know to do it below but otherwise i'll see you next time bye yeah